what's going on everybody welcome back we are back again for another episode review of survivor y'all this is season 46 episode 9 spicy jeff okay i'm back with my survivor soul sister (laughs) hey y'all i just want to say i ran into guests this week (laughs) i ran into guests this week i was leaving one of my high schools I was in the car and I saw two people walking by and I was like, is that, is that Survivor Jess? <laughs> I followed the block down and I was, I waited for it and I was like, I'm sorry, are you Jess? <laughs> he said yes. And she was like, who is this crazy person coming up to me? <laughs> like, oh, you got to check? Girl, they are a mess. They, they are, they should have let you go. <laughs> I can't tell it. <laughs> That is awesome. Did you tell her that? that. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, did you tell her that you know we we're reviewing the show and we thought it was some bullshit yes. that they did get rid of her very yes. soon? Yes. So, uh, just know, guys, we may have a special guest coming soon. We'll Ooh. see. Fingers okay. crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers that crossed. Would be cool. And hang on to your idols, since that's what people like to do now. <laughs> oh my god. We get. This, you know what? Let's just get peak, into this. this. Peak amateur hour. I am done with this season. I'm done. Y'all have y'all am, like at some point, even other seasons picked up and figured out a game plan. And oh, maybe I should use it in my. The only person who's played an idol is Jess, and it was a fake one. She's the it was only a fake one. one. And you know how we into episode nine and nobody's played a goddamn idol. Every person that has got voted off left. Well, not every person, but every person that had an idol that got voted off. They got voted off with the idol in their pocket pocket. when they had ample opportunity to play it. And what I thought was very ironic is that the team that was winning the most in the beginning, the entire jury is made up. Of the Nami tribe. I didn't even figure that out. I didn't Yoda, even put two together. Kevin and Hunter. And it was the three that were in an alliance. Yep. The thick, thick, Isn't thick that thieves, fucking crazy? Yeah. The only person that's left that was not, well, that was in that alliance is Liz. That's still there. But everyone that was on the Nami tribe and everyone that was in an alliance together, they are all on the jury. That's ironic. That is irony right there. All that bragging and boasting. Oh, Karma going to come back to you. We don't know when that bitch going to come back, but the bitch come back. Oh, yay. I'm not saying it was Karma. I'm just saying it was a whole fucking thing. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. No. But we finally got... Somebody talking about throwing a challenge this this episode. Oh my God. Finally, <laughs> so it yeah, took okay, so... episode nine, and then it took episode nine for us to finally see Liz eat something. <laughs> Mama had some popcorn. I was so happy for her that <laughs> finally too. she got a little something. On and her she was stomach. like, "Y'all save me some. I'm serious." <laughs> she was serious. I seen it. I was like, "That is a hangry bitch right there." She was like, "Save me some, please." <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even. She's being assertive. She's being assertive. I'm mad at queen. You, Liz. I love okay, to so see look. it. <laughs> so this episode started off with them completely confused on what happened at the tribal. When Q did this weird ass plan a hero falling y'all on the sword. Two, as, listen, I'm gonna be up here. I'm gonna get up here. Y'all had okay. two chances. I don't care about how dry my lips look. Y'all had two chances. Dose. I don't care if you see my mustache. Y'all Twi. had two chances. Twice. And you still no, twice. You still Three. didn't. Duh. You had I'll never do that again. <laughs> you a fool. <laughs> she said, I don't give a shit how drama this is. <laughs> Y'all All had two mustaches chances. coming in. Listen, what? What was Q's whole thinking behind it? And then you get back to the to the camp that night and then you feel stupid you shouldn't have said shit in the first place what what is going on with you man that's somebody who i would like to have come up here and talk with us because i got some real questions for you q what (laughs) were you thinking first question is how many seasons have you watched (laughs) q that's a question i have for favorite player since he used that on somebody else mariah 
No, she can't be trusted. I, I just have a question for all of them. How many seasons of Survivor have you watched? No. What season did you start? Maria is the only been... one really playing. Maria is the only one that's really playing. Charlie, like she wa- her, her, they're the only Charlie ones who like. The... I've actually watched a damn season. Hunter created a whole background, a backyard full of damn puzzles. Now, and you, you could have pulled the damn. You, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't make a puzzle of you pulling an idol out of your pocket. <laughs> I'm so done. I'm so mad. And it's all on him. It's all on him. This is the first time I'm not feeling bad. No, no, no. (laughs) You literally played yourself in this. I'm sorry. Listen, me and my sister feeling a little tipsy right now. (laughs) We're going to give it to you straight. No chaser. Okay. Listen, happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. 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 Okay. This is ASL for look it up. Look it up. Vegetable. That part and, and you know. magic. <laughs> so I don't know what the point of him was of, of doing that. Um, again, Q being a hero, falling on the sword. They had already had again, a whole ass plan the set up. He's been playing a martyr since since what what's his name? What was his name? Jalinski. No. Oh, the Popos is coming. Oh shit. <laughs> And it's Friday in Oakland. You know what that means. The riffraff is out. <laughs> the riffraff is out. So, um, Banu? Banu. Yeah. Banu. Yeah. As soon as Banu left, that's when he went left. Yeah. I, 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 I... It's almost like he had he had an obligation, a purpose, and a responsibility to keep Banu because Banu was weak. Mind yeah, it, he was just a weak that. player. So he was able to be a leader. He can't lead Tiffany no, and Kinsey. No. And Tiffany is pissed off at him now because Ooh, you done went and told on him that and she got an idol. Again, you opening your mouth doing <laughs> gameplay and not even including people in on the gameplay that you got going on. Like, you, what is going on? And he, he and then like at that tribal, he was just sitting there. It was like an outer body experience for him. Yeah, I don't even yeah. think he realized what was going on in the moment until it all, until Tiffany got in his face. <laughs> yeah, and then he he even said like in the confessional like he he realized that he had already messed up. He was digging a hole, so he just basically had to try to dig himself up out that hole. Now, bruh, you was just going deeper and deeper and deeper in a hole. Like you 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 messing up yourself. And I don't know what you're going to have to do. I don't know what you can do to get yourself out this situation. Um, Because Tiffany ain't fucking with you. Kenzie barely fucking with you. Kenzie barely fucking with Tiffany now. Now, we're going to get to that in a minute. (laughs) Another thing that I thought was crazy is that, you know, Liz is upset because it was her move to um, get rid of, who was Mm -hmm. to get rid of Tevin. But she mm-hmm, feels mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. that move is being overshadowed because everybody is talking about the whole kerfuffle, the kerfucka that Q did at the tribal the night before. So she's like, you know, basically what I did is just falling by the wayside, it's blowing in the wind, and ain't nobody even talking about Tevin. It's like, okay, another one bites the dust. He's out of here. Nobody's talking about that because everybody's focused on, again, the bullshit that Q pulled at the tribal the night before. So I feel bad for Liz in that aspect, but at the same time, Mama, you got to stand up and you got to say something. You got to say something because even if you do make it to the final three, nobody's gonna really be like. I mean, you're not fighting. You're not really saying anything. You're flying under the radar. You know another thing that I think is wild: how no has on the fact that Maria and Charlie are like this. No one's picked up on it. Nobody picked up on no that. No one's picked up on it. I don't know why. And now Ben is getting getting he's better cool. in, in, in talking yeah, with, he's, with he's, both Charlie and Maria. And I think that's a strong trio right there. Surprise. Didn't even know he had it in him. Well, the thing with now um, that Tevin is gone, Hunter sees himself as an I mean uh, as a threat as well the next person to go home as well as Q he feels like he's the next person to go home again because he's lost everybody's trust on the tribe nobody's fucking with him nobody cares about what you got going on none of that hate nobody trust you because you messed it up I mean quite honestly I feel like you and Hunter should have maybe got together and tried to pull 
maybe somebody in to work with as opposed to trying to make the other one look like the bigger target. But, but pay attention. Pay attention to what Q was doing because Q, <clears throat> I think he did it not only with Hunter. I forgot who else he did it with. But it was almost like he just kept dis he just kept disregarding everybody has their own game. Right, because he wants Ages everybody to play to be, his game. Exactly. Yeah. We're, we're, and even Hunter had to be very direct with him. Like, you have to respect that, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and I don't know if yeah. Q does. <laughs> I mean, and, and, but again, Hunter... <laughs> Hunter messed up his own game by not playing the idol. I'm sorry. He did. That's you, the you, only you thing he did, did wrong. Yeah. You sort of did that to yourself, bro. Okay. So um, let's get to the breakdown of the immunity don't challenge. Don't ever listen have. to Venus. Don't ever, ever listen to Venus. You ain't learned that by now? What, wasn't it you that said she's like the poverty? Yes. He did. <laughs> I don't blame nobody but you. So they get a note in tree mail saying that they have to break into uh, three groups of three for the immunity challenge that's coming up. So we have Ben, Kenzie, and Tiff in one group. Venus, Liz, and Q in the other group. Charlie, Maria. Hello. <laughs> Charlie, Maria, and Hunter in the other one. Now, Q is trying to work his jelly on Hunter and put the target on Hunter for whatever reason. He actually, Q goes to Charlie and I don't really understand this. He wants Charlie to throw the challenge. Another For survivor what? standard. <laughs> For what? Sir, do you think I'm going to listen to anything that your goddamn ass has to say after the bullshit you pulled the night before? And then on top of that, throw the challenge. For what? Because you got For upset what? that nobody wanted you on their team. <laughs> you were upset that you were one of the last three picked so y'all had to deal with each other and then of course once he tells charlie that charlie goes st straight to who straight to maria and lets maria know all of the tea and so maria is basically she i mean she, her maria and charlie are right there in the middle really they running that game on the cool no they seriously and maria has such a willpower she's such a container for the yes. chaos like she has yet to give into it. If she she just absorbs it as information and use it towards her gameplay. Like that's how I think she's the only her and Charlie are the only ones who really paid attention and are yep. really executing a solid game. Yep. And Kenzie too. Kenzie's and doing Kenzie good. Too. Yes. Kenzie's and doing Kenzie good. Too. I'm yes. sorry. She's she's doing good. I gotta give it to her. I gotta give that to her. So no, of course. You know, I wasn't really feeling, I was cool with her. Then I seen her going for Tiffany way too fast. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm, I was like, uh, -uh mm -hmm. you got to pump your brakes a little bit. But now that they are all merged and it's every man for themselves, mm -hmm. then I I, I I get it because we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know about you, but I want to be the one deciding who's going to be making the fire. I don't want to make the fire when we get to the end. You know what I mean? I definitely, no, I want to be already. I want to be sitting pretty, eating my little ass rice, <laughs> my little scoop of rice, and my scoop of coconut. I have my pin cushion ready with my popcorn. <laughs> okay, that part. So we get to the Muni Challenge, and it's three teams. The three teams, whoever um, loses out of the three teams, and it's the two teams. Two teams go head to head. Whoever went loses out of that. The last three people on that, they basically um, do a last man standing type challenge. And That's it comes right. down to Hunter, Charlie, and Maria. And the, the challenge that I think is one of the worst ones, just because I have a bad back and I have it's a lot of neck and yeah. shoulder pain, mm. they have to stand on that perch and their shoulders and their butt have to touch this pole. They have to hold it like this. They can move their head. They can even move their legs if they have to, but their shoulders and their butt have to stay on that pole. And if you think about it, that's really not easy to do. Okay. Mm -mm. Especially mm -mm. if you have lower back pain, like I do, I would have, it would have let out of went a good two, three minutes <laughs> before my back started stiffening up. And I'm like, oh, I'm out. No, that's where I'm at too. I, uh, I it was kind of mm -hmm. like the, the challenge a few, few weeks ago where Maria won it individual yeah. immunity. And it was just standing on that, on that, 
on that yeah that little narrow yeah. beam yeah and she's yeah. really good i think she's a chiropractor too she's just really in touch with her body yeah. Oh, yeah. she did she was the first to fall out of this one so it then became between charlie and hunter she got that 40 year old back no no shame no seriously but, yeah, hey, hey, seriously i'm in my 40s point. too mama, i already know you got that 40 year old back baby and and it just wasn't gonna happen okay she <laughs> dropped out and then of course yeah i came down to charlie and hunter i really thought that hunter was gonna pull it off but once i seen Me the winston in his face no go charlie ends up winning and i was very happy for him because i thought he was going to give in he was shaking yeah. but that fool was trying to hold it together he was trying to act like one nothing but he was like <laughs> yeah just hold it in just, yeah i seen you shaking charlie <laughs> baby i seen you shaking charlie okay i just can't i can't i need that thing of action if i'm standing that's when i freak out if i'm yeah. if i'm in traffic and we're not moving above 20 oh i freak out so me having to stand there for a long time oh i can't stand challenges like that yeah no not gonna do it it's not gonna work for me so charlie ends up one of the immunity everybody goes yes. back to camp and now everybody's <clears throat> scrambling scrambling Just trying to figure out what a plan is Kenzie figures, and there's no plan there's, there's like no, no plan. plan there's no plan now this is what I have to respect Kenzie for, okay, because she is someone who plays the game. She was like, this would be the perfect time to blindside Tiffany. One, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. she would not be expecting she it. She's that. pissed off at Q. We can tell her we're all going for Q. <laughs> Meanwhile, we all go for her. She goes to Charlie, Maria, and Ben with the idea to do this, right? Now, they're all gung-ho. They're gung, you know, for it. Maria's whole thing is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wanted to be the one to get rid of Tiffany. So now you're coming up with my idea. Now, of course, she didn't say that to Kenzie, but this is what she said in her confessional. <clears throat> it's like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that wanted to get rid of Tiffany. Like, you're coming through with my plan. Like, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Meantime, in between time, Tiffany's still pissed off because Q went and told Charlie about the idol. Now, everybody knows she has the idol. <laughs> Tiffany's pretty much like, I want to flush this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I don't, want, don't it. want it anymore. It no mm -hmm. more. Now that he done went and told everybody, when you have an idol that makes you target it, uh, in, was it public enemy number one, I don't want it. It's basically useless to me now. So I want to go mm -hmm. ahead and flush it. Do you think that that was, do you think Tiffany was kind of trying to play it a little bit? Or do you think she was really like, no, nah, fuck this. I want to get rid of it. I mean, she named it Idalisha. Why Idalisha. would you get rid of Idalisha? <laughs> No, I you think know? I I think that was a, an actual honest point because with great power comes great responsibility. That is true. And that is true. she didn't want it. She was and she was doing so good and it wasn't even her it was cute. When somebody yes. else blurts out your plan or some sort of advantage, oh, yeah. that's hard. Yeah. That's hard and I would I would go the fuck off on him too. But yeah. I think in that moment she didn't want to have that responsibility yeah, of that whether or not true. to play it now that everybody knows. Yeah, Q blew up the spot with that. <laughs> so can no one asked him to do Nobody it. asked you shit. <laughs> I thought we were, I we were uh what was it? I don't know, the purple team strong. You knew you Y'all knew strong. Y'all knew, y'all knew, y'all yeah. knew. I can't yeah, remember any of that. Shit. that. And how ironic would it be if the, the three of them end up making it to the end? That would be something. That would be something. Be the good. last showdown three of them though. standing. That, that would be, be a showdown. showdown. It actually would, because Q is a fuck up. Kenzie is a good ass game player. And Tiffany is, she's, she's good around, as well. Badass. All, All around badass. She has more, like Kenzie's good, but like she's taking cues from Tiffany. Yes. That's what's oh, happening. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, so now Kenzie has to come up with another plan because mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. Tiffany is threatening to play her idol <laughs> at the same time. You have Hunter that's scrounging around trying to figure out something to do at the last minute. He going to tell everybody, you know what? Fuck it. Don't tell nobody. But Mind you, he's telling this to everybody. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. But I have an idol and I'm playing it tonight. So, of course, everybody's like, they don't know if he's telling the truth. Tiffany thinks he's lying. Okay. <laughs> so, basically, they did the classic move where they split the votes. Half on Q half on Hunter, so if he does play his idol, Q will be out, right? 
And one vote for Ben. <laughs> one vote for Ben. And, and that, that was cute. Vote. I you know, voted for cute. Ben. And like we were all waiting. And then there was like Ben. I was like, that was the last vote. Oh God, it's a tie. Like <laughs> once again, Q, you fucked up. Really, you didn't fuck up because you ended up saving yourself. I mean, because it ended up working for you. You ended up making it, it but his game, like, I don't know what, like, Tiffany said, Tiffany said it, she said, like, it was just, and they're brother and sister, like, that's the dynamic of Q and Tiffany, they're brother and sister, like, and they, she, and you get on her damn nerves. she don't even make eye contact, but she being loud about Q, Q being responsive back, Ben's in the middle, <laughs> taking it. You got damn ass. I'm like, his ego is hurt because Lord. Tiffany is the is the one. That's yeah. his ego. It's Hunter and Tiffany. If you notice, he has to change it up with them mm -hmm. two versus mm -hmm. him talking to Maria or Charlie. You yeah. can tell he's not threatened by Maria and Charlie, which mm -mm. that's a bull. That's a lie. Me. Thank he you. Needs he to needs to be. be. He don't them think the two that motherfuckers that's going to determine your fate. Yeah, and forward, Tiffany talked about oh, you were trying to vote out Venus and all like they were just tattling tit for tat. And you know, here's the thing about Venus, and I hate to say this, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one one hundred. Even she if she does so. make it to the final three, I still don't see her winning because nobody liked her. Nobody liked her, and there's I really don't know why, but it didn't I take really a don't even. I mean, I her get it that she's abrasive and she, she, you know, she, she comes on very strong. I get that, and I'm not at the camp with her. All I see is her being <laughs> abrasive like that. So I get why they don't like her, but at the same time, why I don't like her? But even if she does make it to the final three, girl, I mean, at this point, it would just be for you proving them wrong that you made it further than they did. Because exactly. even if you make it to the end, I, I don't see anybody voting for her. Mm -mm. No, no, I don't know who either. she's with. She could be at the end with Ben and Liz. I was gonna say Liz and too. I like I don't think she would don't still see get, them you know, vote for Ben. Liz, they would vote for Ben. Ben or yeah, definitely Ben. <laughs> she can be at the end with <clears throat> with Liz and goddamn Q. I know they gonna give Shit. it to Liz. Or and like there's a there's gonna be three votes for Q. There's gonna be at least three votes for Q in that mix. Maybe if if, if that much. <laughs> it's people just are like, a hot ass goddamn ass child. Listen, they this is one of those mess. seasons I I haven't I haven't felt this like bothered. I'm annoyed. Like, I'm completely annoyed. I'm completely so annoyed. annoyed. What I'm was annoyed. the point of y'all putting in all that damn energy to and scrambling to find the idol before tribal to just leave it in your pocket? I don't. I, I don't, don't care if I flush it out. I don't care if y'all didn't vote for me and flush it out. Better safe than sorry. Now, lucky for <laughs> Tiffany, none of the votes were on her. She got lucky this time, but Hunter, and yes, and she did Hunter not play used, it either. And then, this is what else pissed me off about Hunter. You could not get a clear conversation at tribal council. You steady trying to get people to talk to you at tribal council. And Nobody's really giving you, you much play. Venus, and they're totally fucking Kenzie. ignoring you. Mm -hmm. And you still don't get it. Kenzie's like, yeah, it's on you. Even Liz, she was half-assed about it. When she did end up voting for Q, she was like, like she was just so fucking nonchalant about the shit. And that's what Jeff even said. Uh, not even related to that, but even picking the teams, they were very nonchalant. They're like, I don't go yeah. care, ball to the wall, like rock, rock on, <laughs> you know. Like, and no, no, like, nobody had any real no, except for who? Maria and Charlie. Maria, Maria and <laughs> the only two that's damn playing. It was just pissing me off. Scream! So I was screaming at the damn. I said, play! play. Oh, Lord. Play. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But God, God. So, yeah, when it came down to the first vote, it was a tie. And that's because Q dumbass 
voted for Ben out of no goddamn where. So then, of course, they had to do a revote. Everybody voted except for Q and Hunter. And it ended up coming down to Hunter getting his ass voted off. You're the next member on the jury, which is your damn fault. And you went And then the everybody was like, pocket. you did a great job, Hunty. You did great. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, it's hard to hear that now. Y'all bitches done voted me out. I feel the same way. I be like, fuck yo, I played good, bitch. You want to tell me that now as I'm walking out the door. Girl, bye. But like, I, just, I just want to know, I mean, with Hunter, why didn't you play it? You put your hand in your pocket. And you even said before Tribal, 100% you're playing it. Because now you don't know what's going on. And no one's communicating with you of a plan. If and, for nothing else, you, you think you would be smart enough if you watch Survivor, if it's between you and somebody else, play your damn idol because if nothing else, they'll split the vote. So if you don't play your damn idol, then it's a possibility you might go home. So why not save your ass? Because if nothing else, you know, once you play that idol, guess what, motherfucker? When you wake up tomorrow, it's going to be another one on the damn island. Go back and find it. I know you and he even said that. I don't want to have to go hunting for another idol. Fuck that. Your name is Hunter. <laughs> okay. Like, your name I'm is done. Hunter. I'm done. Cheers to that, baby. <laughs> Cheers to that, sis. <laughs> I, like, is it Uchi Wally or one mic, sir? Okay. Come on, like, what, is, what is we doing? What is we doing? I don't understand, but that's how the episode ended from there. And I was and annoyed. The episode ended. And that's how it ended. That's how it ended. With Hunter looking dumb as hell with an idol in his pocket. Fed up. I'm fed up. I think that, like, I was upset with Tevin. Not with Tevin. I was upset that Tevin had that, to that leave. Tevin got voted off. Yeah, I was upset about that too. But I was upset at other people. Yep. I was upset at Hunter because he's Hunter <laughs> in that moment. And this, <laughs> and this is the thing with Soda and Tevin, that was a complete blind side. They had no idea. Hunter had an idea that it could be him. Yes. All you need is a hunch. That's all you need is a hunch to think if that it's you. you name one play time. That idol. Like, you saw on. Maria, Ben, and Charlie on the beach, and they were talking about you. And, and they you did not name. invite you to the conversation. You, What conversation have you had with Maria or Charlie? You not so you know right there, right there, them are not votes for you. That's all I need. All I need, if I got an idol in my damn pocket, it's a possibility I'm going home. All I need to know is one and a possible two, god damn it, that don't that are not gonna vote for me. That's all I need. And I'm gonna play my idol for all that. I'm not gonna be a dummy going home with an no, idol. In I, my just, I just can't do that. I just can't do that. And now we have two. Yeah. Tiffany, yeah. don't be the third one. Tiff Tiffany, idol, flush it out and put it back in the game. I don't care. And this is the thing. Now that everybody knows that your ass possibly for real did go home with an idol in your pocket, they finna be out there next thing at the butt crack of dawn looking for your dumb ass idol. God damn it. That's where the episode ends right there. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. Ain't got no more, y'all. That we're was fed up this, this week. Fed we're fed up. Up. Next week, <laughs> I'm not going to this bullshit. But y'all look here. If it was anything that we missed, y'all already know what to do. Drop it down below and let us know. We appreciate y'all for stopping by. This has been Survivor 46, Season 9. We out. We'll see y'all next.